The Lambert Airport has been helping St. Louis travel for more than 88 years. The Lambert Airport was built in 1933. That year, they had more than 24,000 passengers. To start off, Lambert Airport was designed and built by Minoru Miyamaski, the architect. He built it in the purpose of being an airport for St. Louis Major Lambert. Now its purpose is being an airport. Minoru Miyamaski was inspired to build Lambert Airport by Grand Central Station. Have you ever looked at a building and loved the setup of it? Well, this paragraph will tell you about the exterior elements of Lambert Airport that make it a cool building. The Lambert Airport has horizontal and vertical mullins. A mullin is a panel that runs throughout the window. Next, there are arched windows repeatedly throughout the buildings, which lets in lots of natural light. Another thing that lets in natural lighting is the skylights. The skylights are these panels of windows that run throughout the ceilings and let light in from above. The barrel ceilings are constructed with shell concrete. Then, there's a tall, turret light looking satellite that tracks the planes and communicates with them. Now let's talk about the history and timeline during the Lambert Airport era. The president at the time was Franklin D. Roosevelt. 67 years later, after Lambert Airport was built, a tornado hit Lambert Airport. On, the, on April 22nd, 2011, the tornado went right through the airport with winds up to 167 miles per hour. The following day, the damages were looked at to be over $30 million in repair. They also upgraded the airport while doing these repairs. Next time you go for a drive through St. Louis or travel through Lambert Airport, Take a look at the cool features.